we are doing geometry triangle, problem 19. In triangle ABC, ADAE trisects angle BAC, three angle equal, and BD equal two, DE three, EC six. We try to find length of AB. Well, um, I got A for this one. You got A, uh, good, uh, A is correct, nice work, uh, say, how do you start? Um, so I used the angle bisector thing, and I also used, uh, like, three laws of cosine. Uh, okay, on, like, okay, okay, on, that's like, equivalent, uh, however, do you recall, um, what we did in class? Uh, yes, uh, say, um, remember, um, uh, this is still, the still, the, uh, can be derived from um, cosine law, uh, say you kind of did equivalent thing. Um, however, let's try to apply Stewart to see what we get. Remember Stewart? Man and said put a bomb in the sink. Uh, this one, two, three, six. Theta, theta, theta. Angle bisector. Uh, angle bisector. Then, say this to this equal this to this. Right. We get uh, um, say three x, two x. Right. Angle bisector. D E B D equal A E A B, right? A D is angle by sector. This implies D E is D E B D equal A E A B, right? D E B D equal A E A B, right? Similar thing, angle bisector. Um, A E is angle bisector. This imply what? Um, C E E D equal A C A D, right? Then this, uh, say, of course, this, uh, three to two, this, uh, two to one, six to three, right? Then we get, uh, two to one, two y and y, right? Now, still, still on triangle ABE. Do the carefully, say this, um, Middle is D, bomb B and B, D and C. This is A. Then we get what? We get the um, M A N. Two by three. Thirty plus D A D. A equals five anyway. D A D. Y Y square equal B and B. Eighteen X square. C and C. Four three. Twelve X square. Is equal thirty x squared. 
Then simplify. Divide by 5. We get 6 plus y squared equal 6x squared. Equation 1. Then build on ADC. A, D, C. A, D, C. 162. 162. M, A, N. Plus E, A, D. E, A, D is what? Oh, gosh. 81 x squared equal DMB. LY squared DNC. Uh, DNC. 6 y squared is equal 18 y squared. A in y square. Then uh, simplify. I think we can divide by nine. Divide by nine. This is eighteen plus nine x square equal two y square. It is a six x square minus y square equals six. Nine x square uh minus two y square equals nine x square minus two y square equal negative eighteen. Equation two. Our goal is what? Our goal is uh is x or two x. Then um, eliminate y. Say okay. multiply two. Uh then what? Then this equation is three. Three minus two. We get the uh, uh, y square go away thirty x square x is root ten then a b two x two root ten yes. Answer A, then you hit the right answer. Good. Two people, P and Q. P picks three uh, digits from one, two, three, up to nine. And the Q also picks three digit from one, two, up to eight. Then put them in descending order. For example, piece number is um, two, six, eight. Then put them descending order. Piece number is 862. A three digit integer. Then what is probability piece number is eight hundred sixty two is greater than Q's number. 
Again, we want to get the fraction. This nine make a difference, right? Then two cases, for example, um, P picks nine. Two P does not pick nine, right? If P pick nine, P's number is 900 something, definitely uh, P is greater than Q, right? Then how do we figure out probability P picks nine? Anyone? We are counting button, total possible. So it's nine to three? Yes, don't doubt it. Yes, we did a bunch of um, similar um, today. Um, say, um, um, on top of we count the number of success or um, number of triple, no order, just the set of three, right? Um, no other issue. Um, how many set of three digits contain nine, right? Then say in this case, um, set of three contain nine. That means um, how many remaining two, right? Then what do we do? H is two. Yes, exactly. You're thinking that's good. Yes, exactly. Um. This is simplified. A choose two, A is seven over two band. Move number button to top, flip over. This is nine, A, seven. Three number multiply, N equal nine. PQ both pick three digits from one to A. Then, how do we figure out probability P equals Q? Go on, go on. I got one over fifty six. Um, all right. Uh, can you tell class on how you figure out this? Um, because um, P is fixed, like P can be whatever, and okay. you want Q to be equal to P. So, say P for example, P number is eight hundred sixty two. Then, um, go on, go on. Do you, you want to choose, uh, uh, you have three over eight chance to pick the, like, you want to pick one of the three numbers to, for each of them, right? So you have three over eight times two over seven times one over six. Then simplify, you get this. And you get one over 56. Good. Or this part, uh, we can do it like, uh, say, uh, P go first, P can pick any, then we just uh, uh, try to see um, probability Q happen to pick these three, two, six, and eight, right? Then, say, um, by model two, what's at the bottom? Q pick three out of one to eight. Say our method two, model two. How many possible set of three when Q pick three from one to eight randomly? Is it eight choose three? Yes, yes, you get the idea. Then on top, this is going to be what? On top, we count the number of success. That means uh, Q's number also this. Then on top, how many? This is just one, right? Is that this, right? 26A, a set of 26A, right? Then 
yeah, your previous work is good. This is uh, correct, good. And just alternate way, we can do it like this. I say, and this also equal one over fifty six. I think this is correct. Then plug in, simplify. Let's simplify. Uh, see what we get. Um, this uh, say to go away. We get the one third. One minus that is fifty five over fifty six. Uh, then add them up, right? This one third plus this, right? One third plus one third times fifty five over fifty six. Uh, pull out one third. Then this is gonna be one plus fifty five um, over fifty six. Um, we get what? One third. Um, one third. Um, common denominator fifty six. Uh, fifty six plus fifty five. One one one. One 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 again is multiple of three, right? When we um this a uh, quick check um sum of digit three is multiple of three, then the number itself must be multiple of three, right? Say so, um divide by three, we get um thirty seven. I think that's the answer. Thirty seven over fifty six. All right. Or P, right? Then on top, we want to count how many set of three contains nine. Then nine is fit equivalent problem. How many other true number P may? pick from one to eight, right? Order doesn't matter, then A choose two is the right way. Simplify one third. Then case two, we go from two third. P does not pick nine, right? Then multiply this part, probability P greater than Q. Then in this case, um, P pick three digits from one to A. Q also pick three digits from one to A. Symmetric. Then we try to apply symmetry. One minus probability p equals q. Then divide by two. Say so one minus that um means um p not equal q. Then by symmetry half p greater than q. The other half p less than q. Right. 